Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby and today in this episode we're going to talk about sex. Yeah. The naughty stuff. Hmm. Here's the thing. When I first was introduced to sex, okay, <clears throat> I've always been a healthy heterosexual and Laura, was it Lauren or Laura? Anyway, was it first grade, kindergarten, adorable little blonde I had the biggest crush on. So did my buddy Billy, who is, which is why he became my, no longer my buddy, because he found out I liked her because I mentioned her. And anyways, in a past video, I talked about this. But I've always been attracted to him. But then, uh oh, God bless, good luck. I don't know. See what's going on with that one there. There's a storm going on, by the way. And the wind's just kicking up, so it's, it's going to be kind of dangerous to be driving around anyway. But anyway, so I've always, when I was first introduced to it as a 16 year old, healthy young 16 year old, and she was 18, and I do talk about that in a past video as far as generosity of um, women and the young ladies that I would come across in my adventures. And that was a, and the thing with spirituality and sexuality has always been an issue for me, and which is why I just never really been into the big religions, because, you know, and I it's it's a tough one, right? Because, as far as I'm concerned, the first time it was a religious experience, and it was like the connection, the bond. I mean, granted, it wasn't my first time was with somebody it wasn't meant to be. It was just a a kind teacher. She was 18, I was 16, but anyway. <clears throat> the point being that the initial contact in reality, I'm assuming as a romantic, would be that first kiss, that first love, that tender moments, and that's that grows into the family and the children and all that stuff. Then it gets a little twisted. I mean, then you have the, you know, everybody doing the same sex thing, and that's cool. And people doing trans, whatever, and non-binary. I don't know how. Okay, question. How do the non-binary, non-gender specific people... Do they even hump? I mean, I mean seriously, when you think about it, if you don't even identify as a sex, do you even have sex? Think about that. Okay, back to what I'm talking about. I just want to talk about sex. And I think it's important because I thought it was amazing. Granted, I've been celibate for at least 10 years. And yeah, it's been rough. But at the same time, after a while, it's just like, eh. I mean, I've had a couple of droughts in between, year, two, maybe, but yeah. But this last time, it's just too spiritual for me, and my power's too. I understand the 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 power exchange in intimacy, and if it's not an equal exchange, it can be a draining experience. It can be just a complete train wreck, which usually tends to be the case, which is why I'm celibate. But. I think sex is important to talk about. I don't think you should be a prude about it, but I also don't think you should be going around just humping everybody and their mama. Okay, just just saying. Have some respect for yourself, and, and please get checked. Anyway, this was an adult conversation. We're all adults here, hopefully. Yeah, because I made sure what my videos are. Anyway, <clears throat> so I love you, God loves you, and the universe is pretty wild about sex as long as it's consensual and everybody's cool right of age and all that shit right right okay keep it above board spankings pulling the hey, whatever little tickling whatever but keep it keep it clean people i love you goodbye